Oh. He is pissed. Great job, Walter. We'll see if we can get him to hunt out here. Hello everyone, Tommy's Reptiles here. The smartest known reptile on the planet is the monitor lizard. The enclosure directly behind me houses a quince monitor and quince monitors may be the smartest monitor lizard on the planet. Here is my quince monitor named Walter. Some monitors are mainly aquatic, some are arboreal and some are terrestrial. Quince monitors do all three of those things. I got Walter here when he was just a hatchling. He's not even close to being done growing yet. He's just a juvenile and he can get anywhere from three and a half feet to four and a half feet. I've trained Walter to do quite a few things. And one of the main things I train him to do is climb out of his enclosure onto my arm. So let him smell me. Get my scent. Give him a couple chin scratches. Get him nice and comfortable. There you go, Walter. Come on, climb up. All aboard. There we go. And he goes right up to my shoulder. Sometimes he climbs on my head. Let's try to get him to climb on my head. Now I'm gonna show you all the cool stuff Walter can do while explaining how intelligent these lizards really are. Let's see if he wants to run around outside. Go ahead, Walter. We'll see if we can get him to hunt out here. He's a little freaked out, so I don't think I'm gonna keep him out here. As you can see, he spazzed out and ran. So I had to chase him and catch him, but um, I don't wanna stress him out. So I'll bring him in and let him relax a little bit. It's all right, buddy. This is a kind of new space for him, so I can tell he's a little curious and doesn't know what's going on. So he tried to get away. I'm going to offer him a frozen thawed mouse and salmon and see which one he picks. Here he is. Since he's so smart, let's let him make his own decisions. Let's twist this around so we can get a real good sniff. All right, Walter, what do you want today? Fish or mouse? He's using his fork tongue to pick up the scent. He already smells both of the items and now he just has to choose which one he wants more. Sometimes when I give him a little chin scratch, it peps him up and then he wants to eat more. Come on, buddy. He knows it's me, he knows he can eat. Come on, buddy. You know you're hungry. It's a tough decision. He's moving in. Ooh, it looks like he's going for the salmon. Good choice, Walter. So monitor lizards are the most intelligent reptile on the entire planet. They exhibit complex behaviors like learning from experience, spatial navigation, and even memory retention. In captivity, they can be trained to count to six. Look at Walter really chopping down on that salmon. Great job, Walter. Looks like he's more interested in that salmon again. He must really love that salmon. Looks like he's still hungry. I think he's gonna go for that mouse. Wow, he was hungry today. Well done, Walter. All right, guys, let's bring him for a walk to burn off those calories. Come here, boy, come put your leash on. He knows it's time to go outside. Are you ready to go on a walk, buddy? All right, now we got a leash on him so he can't run away. But let's let him explore a little bit. He's curious, he's wandering around, getting all kinds of scents on his fork tongue, trying to figure out what's going on. Monitor lizards are the most intelligent reptile on the entire planet, and quince monitors specifically might be the most intelligent monitor lizard. Quince monitors are known for their problem-solving skills, excellent memory, and adaptability to learn from their surroundings. 
All of those things combined has gained the Quince Monitor the reputation as the smartest reptile in the world. He doesn't like the camera, so he's puffing his throat and saying, get away from me. Oh, never seen him do that before. He is pissed. He obviously doesn't like the camera, but I wouldn't be able to make this video if I wasn't filming, obviously. I think that was more of just a bluff charge. I don't think he really bit the camera, but. He's inspecting the camera and seeing what it's all about and he doesn't like it. All right, let's put him back in his enclosure. All right, buddy. In you go. These guys are excellent swimmers and always hang out in the water. You can see that his tail is flat, so it's like a fin and it helps him swim. I gotta give him a bigger fish tank, but this is okay for now. He's inspecting the camera again and he's like, will you get this thing out of my face? He always stirs up the bottom, gets all the dirt all over the place. I clean this fish tank like twice a week. He definitely needs a bigger one. You can see tongue flicks underwater. It's pretty cool. And then he finds a place and wedges himself under the filter all the time. I think I'm gonna eventually change his substrate to something other than mulch because you can see he gets all this mulch all over the place in the, in the water and it makes it all dirty. So I might do all rocks around the fish tank, so then he won't drag it in the water. I really hope that you guys enjoy this video and thank you for watching Tommy's Reptiles.